Um, for us, it's really, we start with the story. So we start with what's the story you want to tell? How can it work on this platform? Can it work as a linear experience as well? Um, and is there, are there any other ways we can get that story out there? So I think for us as filmmakers, it's, it's always about, you know, story first, character first, and then we have to work out how to make it uh, for that particular platform. And as Yelena has said, you know, we're all just discovering, this is really early days, so we're, we're kind of making it up as we go along, um, and we make mistakes and we learn from them, and then we, we try and remember that for the next time. Um, we also work in, at Nexus, we also work in AR, augmented reality. Um, and for us, again, you know, it's, it's it's a different medium, but it's all related. You know, it's about a user engaging directly with something and augmenting an everyday, real life experience. Um, when we started out, we, we were already working quite a lot on the installation side of things. So I, I've worked as a producer on um, interactive installations for places like the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, uh, the Tate Modern, and um, I'm currently working on an installation which is a connect game for a hospital in Alaska, which is about trying to get kids moving. Um, so there's different, you know, different locations, different places, different audiences demand different kinds of stories. Um, but we looked, when we started working in VR, we looked around us and we said, you know, who's already telling stories in a 360 space? Um, not necessarily digital or interactive, but it, it you know, there's, there's so many other places you can find this kind of experience. Um, so one really great reference that we found was um, companies like Punch Drunk Theatre in the UK who were doing 360 immersive theatre experiences where you may just be um, a viewer, but you can move around the space. You can go up and down in 